Hello and welcome to tutorial 128 and what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is creating uh, an RSI indicator that uses a PSP, a price series provider. So just looking at the workspace on the left pane we have a 17 minute chart with a regular trade station RSI indicator applied and on the in the right hand pane we've got a five minute chart and we have a 17 minute RSI applied. And the, the way we're doing that is using a price series provider. Now, you could do something similar by using data two. In other words, you have a five minute chart at the top, you have a second data stream, data two, 17, and then apply the uh, trade station indicator against that. But there are some things that uh, that would not work for. For example, if you were doing a strategy and you wanted intrabar order generation, then you couldn't use a second data stream. And also some data streams, you cannot have two, for example, tick data streams on the same chart or advanced data type. So that would be a reason to use the price series provider. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial, I'm gonna actually develop the tutorial from scratch so that you can see all the various stages. And so I'm gonna do four videos. And the first one, we're just gonna be setting up the PSP. So this, tutor, uh, this tutorial program is available for download and it is available for free for download by Gold Pass members. So I've already created the indicator, uh, but what I'm going to do is start again. So what I've done is created a new indicator, which is already applied to the chart, but as you can see, there's nothing much in it at the moment. And uh, we're going to start from scratch. The first thing is to create the PSP. Now, unless you've got a, a program that you've used before with a PSP set up in it that you could copy and paste, probably the easiest way is just to go to the toolbar and double click on the price series provider and that creates one here then go to properties and start uh, modifying the properties now we're going to want this to load so we're going to set that to true give it a an easier name I'm going to call it PSP and uh, the symbol is going to be the same symbol as the chart so we just can put symbol in there and then the interval is something that we are going to change in the actual program. So we just leave that as it is at the moment. Now the range, we're gonna be doing a, a range uh, by date. Again, I'm just gonna put in, well, first I will leave it, leave it at that at the moment. We're gonna modify that again. We don't need volume, we don't need ticks information, and uh, we, we're certainly not gonna use natural hours. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, go back. We've made those changes. We're now going to look at the designer generated code. So we see the designer generated code by going view, then designer generated code. And then we'll see what we have so far. What I'm going to do is copy this, take the information which is relating to the PSP. In fact, let's just get everything here. So I'm just going to highlight it and press Control C. Then I'm gonna to go to my new program. And uh, what we're gonna do, this thing needs to run once. So we're gonna use the once statement. So once, begin, and then we're going to paste the bulk of that. Now the variable that needs to be at the top. So it's gonna cut that and move it to the top of the program. Like so, we don't need this anymore because we've got that in the one statement. That is beginning to, to take shape. Now, as far as the interval is concerned, this is gonna be uh, an input. So we're going to create an input, I'm gonna call it bar span. And we'll set that as a default of say 30, like so, and change that from five minutes to our user input. The, the range type. Now, first date, uh, this thing is just using a particular date. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, bar date time because when this is first applied to the chart, this will run effectively on the first bar and that will be the date that we want PSP data uh, from. It's going to get rid of that and uh, probably going to get an error now. And that is because it, uh, the program doesn't know, or at least I think it's because the program doesn't know that we need the um, name e EL system namespace. So I'm just going to create that up here like so. Okay, so let's just try and verify that again. Okay, now one of the things now that we've copied the information is we need to get rid of this from the system tray. So let's just try that again. And that seems to be verifying so far. Now, 
another thing that we need to do at the moment, this is set to the time zone of local. We could also set it to the time zone uh, time time zone of exchange but what we want to do is automatically detect and make it the same as what the chart is and I think the easiest way is just to uh, copy and paste this from another program because uh, otherwise it's a little too complicated but it's a, a nice little snippet of code that you can reuse so I'm going to come down here and replace that with this information which will automatically detect what the chart is and then set the time zone for the PSP accordingly. Then the other thing I'm going to do just to uh, tidy this up a little bit is I'm going to remove this from here and uh, I'm going to add another namespace like so. And having done that, what we can do is we can remove this from the other places. Okay, and uh, finally in this one statement, I'm going to clear the print log because we're probably going to be doing some uh, some debugging using the print log. So let me just check that that verifies. And yes, it does. So there we have our basic setup. And uh, what I'm going to do is three more videos that go, go through this program in, in some more detail.